This video is about downloading things and uploading to Turnitin. And in particular, it's kind of important. I'm going to ask you to download the syllabus and upload it to Turnitin. But it's particularly important because your essays or papers, both midterm and final, will be using the same mechanism, that is the uploading to Turnitin. And I want to make sure that we can do it because actually at this point we're having some difficulty, we're having some problems getting this to work properly because at this point it still hasn't worked properly. I'm hoping that they will have it fixed by the time the semester starts in a couple of weeks and uh, if not you will let me know and I will get in touch with IT and see where we go from there. Okay, but notice uh, we're going, going to go into the syllabus section, so week one, if you look at the menu on the, side, on the left side, go down to syllabus, we click on syllabus, we're over here. Uh, by the way, all these sections today, notice they have a download. That's intended so that you can actually download stuff to your computer when you have a network connection, let's say at school, and if you don't have a good network connection at home, you can download it and try to work on it uh, by yourself. I haven't tested this out, I don't know how well it works, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a feature, we'll see if it works out for, for everybody. I wouldn't worry about that so much because I think most people have networks, and if not, uh, Let's talk. Okay, so here in this section we have downloading the syllabus and, uh, and uploading to turn it in. That's the video that I'm making right now is going there. And right below that we have the syllabus itself. So the first thing we're going to have to do to download is to download the syllabus. Now there are two ways to get it. Notice I put a copy of the syllabus over here. Or it's really a link to it. But it's, this is the same as in the overview. So I can just, from here, I can click on it and click download. And it will download to a download directory in your browser. Your browser will take care of that. This happens to be Chrome. And you'll see it will come up over here when we actually do it. But I want to show you, we can also go up to overview. And come down here and notice we have this link to the same syllabus. And if we click on it, that is right click on it, we can have save link as, which I think is what you're going to get. Oh, I'm sorry. What you have to do over here is you click on it, which will open it up. And from here, you, depending on how your browser works, it's usually they have a download button over here, which will work the same way. Okay. But let's go back to the easy way of doing it. I just wanted to. Uh, you to know that if later on in the semester you're looking for it, you can find it in overview. You don't have to remember, oh God, it was in week one in this module. All of that important stuff is in the overview. Okay, so let's go back to the syllabus section where we were. Okay, so from here, all we have to do is down, put that carrot down, select download. And you see, as I said up here, it's being stored. Okay. And in Chrome, I can actually show it in a file right over here. But we now know it's in wherever the download directory is in your browser. You're going to have to figure it out yourself. If it's Chrome, it'll come right up there and come down. So that's the first half of it, um, which if you're uploading your essay, you're not going to have to do because you're writing it on your computer or typing it in, writing it by hand, typing it in, and then creating the file. By the way, to upload essays, files should be done in Microsoft Word. Worst case in PDF, but Microsoft Word is the preferred method. Do not use, if you have a Macintosh, I think there's an Apple Write or something. It doesn't work out well, or it didn't at least with our old LMS. Okay, so from here, you're going to go to upload the syllabus to turn it in. We're going to click on that. And it's going to think a little bit and do its business. And it's going to say, click on upload submission. And over here, you're going to have to choose file. And we're going to go try to find, notice I have a download directory over here. It just came up. In fact, I'm in the download directory. So I would luck out. If not, you're going to have to find the download directory. And here we have the syllabus. And I'm going to open it. 
notice to put the name in. I'm going to just for the sake of cleaning it up. You know, I like the dot .pdf at the end. I'm just going to have it say that. That is the syllabus. And I'm going to upload and review. It's going to upload. Okay, and then it's going to say, submit the file to turn it in. And submission complete, and guess what? Forget about what I said about it's not working. It seems to be working now. Okay, so that's the whole thing. And then for, when you're done with that, you can just uh, close that window and go back. And now go back to syllabus and continue on. Uh, and you should note, in fact, I'm putting a note on the on this video as you're looking at it. That is, older versions of video lectures within this course might state that an assignment, usually what we're talking about is not just a regular assignment, but like an essay or a paper, has to be uploaded twice. That used to, I used to have to do that in the old system. We don't even have that capability in the new system. So you would just be uploading it once. So if it says twice, don't get nervous. You only have to upload it to turn it in. Okay, that's it. Well, and we'll move on from there.